During his time in office, President Donald Trump has had his fair share of visits with foreign leaders. Some went better than others. But he reserved a special honor for India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the first to have a private dinner with him in the White House. Just the first sign that the Trump administration would take a different tact in the region that was laid out in the U.S. Secretary of State's speech previewing his trip, where he only had a few passing comments about Pakistan. Pakistan, too, is an important U.S. partner in South Asia. Our relationships in the region stand on their own merits. We expect Pakistan to take decisive action against terrorist groups based within their own borders that threaten their own people and the broader region. The U.S. has long claimed both relationships are basically equally important. But when Tillerson spoke about India, his was a noticeably different tone, casting it as a critical economic and military alliance. In this period of uncertainty and somewhat angst, India needs a reliable partner on the world stage. I want to make clear, with our shared values and vision for global stability, peace and prosperity, the United States is that partner. And with India's youth, its optimism, its powerful democratic example and its increasing stature on the world stage, it makes perfect sense that the United States at this time should seek to build on the strong foundation of our years of cooperation with India. In India, Tillerson will visit a cultural site, the Gandhi Museum have a news conference, and actually sleep in India. He didn't do any of those things in Pakistan. The U.S. might deny it, but with this visit, it is sending a clear message to both Pakistan and India that it does, in fact, have a favorite. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera.